Ulusi, tell me about your passion. When did you start teaching film appreciation? That's an interesting journey because teaching was never something that I really had in mind or went after and kind of uh, where I am today as an educationalist. It's an interesting journey. Like while I was trying to find my passion and I was associated with my company and my dad and making films, uh, in that process uh, photography came along and I was trying to explore that. And towards the end of that exploration, I reached a point where I had an idea that I want to do an actor's portfolio, a kind of a concept that I wanted to develop where there is more of emotions and um, not so much of the glamour and clothes and all that that's otherwise emphasized. So I went along trying to um, uh, find some institute who would seriously take that up and I landed up at Kishore Namit Kapoor Acting Institute. Well, we did start with uh, an acting portfolio, but it really did not go to where I expected it and we were not very happy with the results. But that had an interesting story because uh, Kishoji, who in fact who is a good friend, suggested that since that's not something that with our collaboration really worked, why not you take to teaching? And um, the obvious thing that came to his mind was films because I was involved in making films. and part of my production banner and he said you are quite articulate and communicate well and you have a good knowledge of cinema so why don't you research like a kind of a special thing and we can work on something. So I said uh, well I was determined to make something work with my collaboration with Kishorji and I said I'll give it a shot. So we initially started with showing films to his uh, advanced batch of actors and um, discussing the films. Uh, you know, in a very preliminary stage. The challenge there for me was that I'm dealing with actors, some of whom are not very serious about uh, the art form of acting to start with, are sometimes, not all of them, some are very dedicated, but some of them are glamour struck, and they don't, again, are not exposed to a world cinema sensibility. So I have to have a very fine balance where I'm trying to broaden their horizon. At the same time, I cannot get into it like maybe I would, how I would like to with a very serious syllabus that I had. So we started in a very casual way uh, by one sessions, two sessions, carrying on that on weekdays, I mean on weekends, I mean. And slowly we developed a program of four days and six days where we have a complete uh, run through of the evolution of cinema that we go through and in fact uh, with Kishoji we developed a whole audio vision. So it was then a complete course syllabus at one level which you know we are exposing the actors to. And I would say that Kishoji's belief and support in my teaching capabilities is uh, an important step that uh, led me into wanting to explore that and at one level I'm, I'm grateful to him. Putting together a new course like film appreciation would have needed a lot of research. Of course there was a research and I think it's an ongoing research. Cinema is like life, I say. It's, it's a journey that there's so much, there's so much to learn. It's what is cinema? Cinema is reflecting life at the same time as the essence of life. Uh, it's a parallel reality that you create. So I think uh, it's, it's too complex to really say that I know anything about cinema, it's, it's a process and I am still learning. Uh, many times people ask me, uh, especially people who are not connected with uh, film studies or the film industry and filmmaking, what is it really that you teach in film appreciation? What is there to learn? What is there to appreciate in films? Um, because what happens is that there is a kind of a perspective or there is a kind of a view that cinema is more entertaining, especially with the general public. And I think that's where the, the whole question arises, that why do you need to appreciate films? What is there to appreciate? But if you look at it from a slightly different perspective, that films is like literature or theatre or anything, any other uh, art form, there's a serious uh, industry, of course, uh, which is an important aspect, and there is an art element to it. So there is, if there is industry, if there is art, then something that you need to know and you need to understand, and therefore then you need to appreciate. At one level, what I try to address uh, in the film appreciation courses is that uh, the history of the evolution of the language of cinema. Because unless you know the past, unless you know the very beginnings, unless you understand the journey, only then do you really understand what is contemporary cinema. You cannot try and understand contemporary cinema without knowing what went before that. 
So without making it the history of cinema, without making it very boring, I think uh, that process of really understanding the evolution of the language of cinema, uh, what went around, how did we reach where we are today, is something that I try and address. And another very important thing is that besides being limited to maybe what uh, you know, a non-initiated person into films is that there is different kinds of cinema that's possible. There is a world sensibility, there is an art cinema, there is a popular cinema, there is Indian cinema, there is Japanese cinema, there is Italian cinema and what really differentiates it? What really of that cinema uh, do you uh, do you need to know maybe? Like when you talk about Indian cinema, somebody sitting in America might not really understand the nuances or if he doesn't know the culture, he does not really completely appreciate or understand what gets into you. Similarly, if you're talking about an audio director, you're talking about Fellini or you're talking about Satyajit Ray, many times it does help to understand uh, his biography, to understand his technique, his influences, and then your viewing of the film is complete. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's an experience which uh, at one level, of course, touches you at a very personal level, which is beautiful, which is what all cinema should do, but also has a deeper impact on your experience of it. So I think that's something that's very important, besides, of course, the filmmaking process itself. How important yeah. do you think yeah. is the film appreciation mm -hmm. uh, for actors? Okay. Uh, I think uh, it's very important uh, to state that acting mm -hmm. in theatre is where, to a large extent, uh, actor is key. And um, when you talk about cinema, it's a whole medium that you're dealing with. And really, the director is key. Not that the actor is not important. Of course, I believe that he's very important. She's very important because it's the only human element. But largely, even when you're talking about training for a director, this is not emphasized, the actor-director relationship, etc. It's more technical. It's more about the art and craft of filmmaking. So for an actor to be involved in cinema, he has to understand the medium. He has to understand the process of filmmaking. He has to understand what is uh, what happens in the scripting stage, and especially in the filming stage. What is framing? Just basic fundamentals, which sometimes they have no clue about. So when an actor is in sync with, and when he knows the differences between acting for cinema and theater, in theater you can afford to be loud. You need to be sometimes, you know, use your whole body and be, you know, address the fourth row, and the tenth row, and the twentieth row in a theater. But in cinema you have the close up, you know, which is a very powerful uh, tool, but which changes the dynamics of acting to a large extent. So I think it's very important that an actor understands the medium which he wants to act in. So they can contribute at a, at a more deeper level, at a more meaningful level, rather than being one of the props uh, in the film. What is the kind of response you got for the film appreciation course? Uh, with film appreciation, uh, we, as I said, that I initially started off by taking these sessions, uh, weekend sessions with the acting students. So that was challenging. Uh, the response was good, but it was challenging in the sense that was, I was not dealing with an audience who specifically wanted that kind of information. Uh, so it was uh, slightly an experience that they were also opening up to. But what is very, very encouraging and I think very satisfying as an educationalist or somebody who was trying to uh, reach out to people with film appreciation was when I started my independent film appreciation courses, which was I think around 2008, end of 2008. And there I came across people who purely for the passion and love of cinema joined the course. So even though, though it was like a grueling, um, quite a few hours. We started at 10 in the morning and ended at around about 7 in the evening with film screenings. People came because they wanted to come and uh, they you know, gave up their siesta or they gave up their uh, uh, weekends where they could go out and enjoy themselves because there were a lot of them working people. And uh, when they came there and was so engrossed in what I was saying, it was, it was a great joy. So I think the film appreciation students are always special to me and I call them my film appreciation family because, um, uh, I don't know, there's a special bond that I think we develop because it's purely on loving cinema and this world cinema and European sensibilities and this uh, sensibility which is not seeing cinema as entertainment, you know. So I think as an artist that is, is very satisfying. Besides that, as a film educationalist, as I freelance, I also teach at various institutions and uh, very exciting uh, 
thing that I do, in fact, is play the role of an educationalist and head the subject of film at the SVKM IB School that's run by the Miti Bai Group. And that's an international baccalaureate. So uh, their syllabus, again, is at par with an international standard. And there I have limited students. But again, it's very satisfying because we are a two-year course. We are going through the subject and, you know, you are then addressing finally three projects. It's not like a, a lot like the Indian system where, you know, you mug up things and you, you know, pour it out in your examinations. So that's, uh, again, challenging at the same time satisfying. Then I also teach at uh, the Digital Film School, where again the experience is quite nice because you have people who are filmmakers who uh, want to make films, so they've come there because they want to do that. And um, nice, interactive, stimulating uh, kind of discussions that we have on that. There I take the module on film appreciation, which is like a 12 sessions or something like that. And then I also did the uh, Mumbai University Postgraduate Film and Television uh, course, uh, again, uh, the film appreciation module. Uh, which they asked me, invited me for. And I did an interesting seminar on filmmaking, which was in Bitspilani, Goa, for their cultural fest. So, uh, seminars off and on, but I think uh, it's, it's been a very encouraging experience.